Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Welcome, dear friends. Welcome to Kardec Radio. Are you ready to pray today? We are coming here on this beautiful Thursday provided by our Creator, by our Master Jesus. We are coming together in this Mother's Mary time to meet with her, her legion, in order for us to pray together and praying together, we can elevate and boost these prayers to go and reach even higher spheres, more brothers, more sisters, everyone in greater need. As we pray together, we emanate love and loving together is so great. There's so much love when we stop and pray together that we can help many other brothers and sisters. It's hard to imagine, but together we are actually stronger and we can help even more. So join us. I hope you can have your water next to you so you can prepare yourself, your water to receive the blessings of these moments. As we are here, getting ready to pray. So in order for us to align ourselves with the good spirits, let us pray so that the good spirits, Mother Mary and her legion, our Master Jesus, the mentors of Kardec Radio, can be here guiding us throughout these prayerful moments in which each one of us are taking this time to pray for our humanity, for all our brothers and sisters in need including us and those in the other realms. So as we are breathing in and out, we bring ourselves to this present moment, getting ready so the seeds of love can permeate our hearts and grow deeper in our souls so we can have fruits in the future and so be it so dear friends today we'll read the chapter from the book living spring hello daniel flavia tony welcome to kardec radio welcome everyone so the chapter today is 52 and is entitled Serving and Progressing. So here are two strong words for us to start meditating, serving and progressing. And Master Jesus in this book is going to teach us how we can progress. So let us read. Let us listen with our ears and feel with our heart and soul. So that can really help us. Serving and progressing. Therefore, lifted up the tired hands and the weak knees. Paul, Hebrews 12, 12. If in an ordinary farm, farming is difficult to raise a wholesome crop, so that the world's storehouse do not lack bread for the body. Toiling to acquiring the spiritual qualities that compromise the living and imperishable food for, for the soul is almost sacrificial. The seed of goodwill 
has in fact been planned, but a thousand obstacles impair its germinating, germination and growth. It is a, a silt, it is a silt of fertilities of the inferior life. The invasion of worms represent by all kinds of annoyances. The clay of envy and spite, the thunder of miscomprehension, the hail of evil, the destruce of slander, the head, the heat wave of responsibility, the cold spell of indifference, the drown of misunderstanding, the grab grass of ignorance, the clouds of worry, the dust of disillusionment. It is a it is it is as if all the impaired in, sorry. It is, it is as if all the imponderable forces of the human experience have come together against those who want to progress on the pathway of the good. While we have not yet reached the divine inheritance for which we are destined, any fall can easily happen. The ascent is a toil of sweat, persistent and sacrifice. If your heart is truly interested in the upper environs of life, do not retreat before the struggle. Though faced with every sort of difficulty, go forward, offering to you endeavors of perfection, all that is noble, beautiful, and useful. Remember Paul's advice and do not stand still. Move your exhausted hands, raise your weak knees, and get busy. Being sure that in order to get the best of, your li of the life, you have to serve and involve and evolve without stopping. So here is the recipe, right, for us. To, to grow and to progress, we have to be serving. So even though we are tired, we need to be moving, keep on going, pressing on as the spirits always tells us. So it's very interesting that he compares the life struggles, right, with the farming. So we nowadays are not very familiar with the farming like the farms work, but it's really hard. They have to prepare the soil, bring the seeds, go there taking care daily to make sure everything is growing fine. Right nowadays they have machines to do it, but before it was all handmade, hand, hand mandling. So Humans used to go there daily and take care of the crops, make sure it was everything fine. So it says it is difficult for the farmers to, to produce a lot of things for the storehouses, right? To have bread. And he's comparing that the spiritual quality is, is like almost a sacrificial. So friends, it's not easy to achieve this kingdom of God. It's not easy for us uh, to, to evolve, right? We need to put some time on, be very disciplined, have a lot of information and working on it. Because if life is very easy, we don't feel the struggles, we just feel like we are on vacation, this is a call for us to wake, it's a wake up call that we need to look around and see if I'm really progressing. Because if everything is fine, nothing is changing, you're not feeling difficulties in order to go to a next level. So something is not right, right? We need to be 
uh, like as we go to the gym, we need to work out and we say, if there is no pain, we're not gaining anything because we need to exercise all the muscles and then afterwards we feel sore. So we need to move, exercise our muscles of the soul. We need to work on this spiritual growth, right? And one of, one of the ways for us to grow is to be serving. So serving is to put ourselves, ourselves in a position to help others for the greater good. Serving is not doing what I want to the person that I think is in need of X, Y, and Z thing. So when we put ourselves to serve, we see what others need and then we help. We, not, we don't impose onto others what we think they need and call this a service, service right? This is a difference. We need to, to analyze, oh, I want to help people, but they don't want my help. But why is that? Sometimes we want to help people the way we think is right. But we need to, to be humble and ask that person, how can I help you? How can I serve you? And go from there. So we need to hear what our brother and sister is in need. And not only brothers and sisters, we need to talk to ourselves, right? Our inner child in our heart. We need to talk with our body, with the soul. We need to always making these questions, how I can serve better. Because as we are co-creator, we are co-creating with God, with Jesus. So we need to always to be tune in to see how I can be better, how can I progress. So, of course, things in life are not always easy, right? And this, as he said here, the worms represent by all kinds of annoyances. So we will have a lot of difficulties, right? We'll have envy, we'll have misunderstanding, we'll have slanders, we'll have um, a lot of things will come, ignorance, a lot of things will come through our pathways. And we need to be aware and see and address. So we need to see all those things that is happening, but we should never give up. Because as we mentioned before, things in life is not going to be 100% easy. There will be times that we will have to go through very difficult trials and expiation. Maybe it's now, maybe this is the moment that you're going through very hard times in your life. And this is a great call for you, for us to analyze what it needs to be changed because pain, suffering comes to our lives to actually help us, help us to make a change because if there is no pain, we cannot see that we need to be addressing something. So sometimes we go through difficulties in life for us to grow. So remember, everything comes in our lives as an opportunity to learn and to grow. So as we study together, as we are more familiar with the teachings of spiritism or any other religion, that will bring you up and closer to God, to, to Jesus, you will feel this connection and you will be able to address better and make changes. So very important here, almost towards the end, he said, it is if all the torments, right, that is happening, is working together against to those who wants to progress on the pathway of the good. So we know as we work for the good, a lot of things are gonna come in front of us and they say, but I just wanna do good. And this is a test, right? And, and it says here that we will fail, right? We'll fall, we'll be 
like a, a sure thing that we will fail sometimes, we will fall, but we should never give up. We always need to keep going, never give up, because especially if we know we are being guided by mentors, good spirits, and you know, you know that you're being guided and, and helped by good spirits, when you're doing something for the greater good, not only for ourselves, we need to be working for the whole humanity. So for the family, for the neighbors, for the community. So when we are having to do something and the goal is to help more than only myself, then we are in the right pathway. So things are gonna come across to, to make us feel sometimes sad and tired of trying. But here he tells us, do not give up, keep on going, right? The accent is the oil of sweat, persistent and sacrifice. So they, it needs to have sacrifice, persistent, and a lot of sweat. So it's almost the workout as you, when you go to the gym, you really have to work out hard in order to see results. Otherwise, you're not going to have great results going to the gym. So we need to go and work out harder, doing those sacrifice and be persistent. It's persistent. So if our heart really is wanting to achieve and do the good, we have to to really know if we, we really are attuned with these goals, what we want them to do. Because when we feel in our heart, it doesn't matter what comes through on our pathways, we'll keep marching forward and reach to the point. So Paul said to us to keep on moving, even, don't stand still, keep on moving, even, when your hands are exhausted and your knees are weak, we need to continue. So friends, how are you feeling? Are you feeling tired? Things are, uh, are making you feel that you're not moving. Think about it in your life. Are you serving? Are you progressing? How could you uh, getting to this point, can you serve more? Do you want to progress faster in your reincarnation? I think this is the goal, right? We all want to grow. We all want to progress. We want to be transitioning with this beautiful planet to the planet of um, regeneration. So in order for us to progress, and be on planet earth we need to be serving so we can be in the same vibration everything needs to be vibrating good harmonized everything needs to be changed so now is our time to work on us right we're being called with the pandemic we're being called to work on us working out in our hearts working on the struggles that we have so we can prepare ourselves for the new. So in one way that we can do this is serving, right? We can serve by praying. We can serve extending a hand to someone that you know that is in need. It's coming to you. And if you're sad, if you're not feeling well, Look for someone in your family, look for a friend, look for things that you can be doing to help. So that way you, you come into this mindset of serving and then you see how much you progress. You, you won't be sitting still watching TV, doing nothing. You will be doing something. And you know, when you do this exercise of doing it, you continue doing things, feeling good, helping even more. So friends, I hope this message 
was able to help you to grow in your knowledge and help you to change your life, right? Because today reading on a message uh, in a website, it was saying, Andrea Lewis was saying that spiritism didn't come to, to change uh, the world. It, it came also to change ourselves. So we need to, to learn more about spiritism, about the eternity, so we can apply in our lives. So let's press on, keep serving, progressing, so we can go even higher with all these teachings that we have learning with Kardec Radio, with the books that Chico Xavier had brought to us. So let us close our eyes. If you have your water next to you, let us pray, friends, receiving the blessings and pray and being thankful for all this opportunity that we receive it. So dear mother, dear father, God, doctors and nurses, mother Mary, thank you for being here, surround us, giving us the guidance, the protection, and the remedies that we need. As we breathe in and out, we feel the loving care and the remedies that is being applied to us in this moment. As we breathe out, we let go of things that is keeping us stagnated. We breathe in, inhaling this love, healing energy. And we feel lighter and more harmonized with the vibrations of the good spirits. In this point, we can see clear and feel what is our mission. We breathe out, we let go of the old habits that we had. Breathing in and out this love healing energies. Our whole body is glowing, radiating light and protection. We know we received everything that we need and now we radiate this energy with the good spirits, sharing with everyone in our household, sharing with our neighbors, friends and families, our community, our whole country is being illuminated and then our planet is also vibrating and irradiating this love, light, and energies. And as we keep receiving these blessings, we will like to say thank you for this opportunity of being here together among friends, brothers, and sisters. We are so thankful for the doctors and nurses, 
Mother Mary Lations, Master Jesus, for being here with us, helping, guiding, healing us. We are very thankful for this day, for this new opportunity that we had in this reincarnation. We are thankful for everyone and everything that is connected to us in both realms of life. We would like to pray for our guardian angels and be thankful for them to be always guiding and helping us. We would like to pray for our enemies, those that doesn't like us, those that we don't know that it, it doesn't like us. We pray for them and we ask for forgiveness because sometimes we made mistakes, committed something, crimes in the past that we are not aware in this life. We ask forgiveness to them. And we pray so that they also receive these blessings. We would like to pray for everyone in the power position. May they start serving our Master Jesus and do the greater good, make good decisions. So that will help not only them in the lives to come, but help many other brothers and sisters of ours. We are very thankful for being here and with your permission, dear God, we would like to close these therapeutic moments of love and healing. And so be it. So dear friends, hope you all felt good and felt this beautiful treatment in your soul. Now we are all radiating. We are shining. We are light, right? We are light. We have light and we reflect light to everyone as our friends in Brazil taught us. So dear friends, be in peace. And until tomorrow, we'll be here 6 p.m. again praying in this beautiful time with Mother Mary. Six in the morning, we'll have the morning prayer, and there's many other programs on Kardec Radio in which you could take advantage to instruct yourself. So have a good night and enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye, friends.